I uh, just remember saying to my husband, John, that, you know, we, I need to go get <clears throat> call the attorney because I'm going to have to get my affairs in order. That was the first uh, frightful thing for me. My husband is a rock star, if you ask me. My kids are like, they need you. We need you too, but they need you more right now. So kind of makes you proud as a parent too. My family is so important to me. Just them being there for me when I needed to let, yeah, have an ear to to talk to, um, shoulder to cry on. I have a uh, four and a half, almost five year old and a child on the way. <laughs> and um, I hope that he doesn't remember <laughs> what, you know, when I came home at the time of the pandemic and was sad and cried a lot, sorry. <laughs> um, I hope he doesn't remember any of that. One of the things my husband was giving me was listen to podcasts, you know, listen to the podcast, you know, listen to some humor. And uh, definitely humor is the best medicine, right? You're walking in and saying, is this the day that I'm going to get it? Is today the day I'm going to bring it home to my, my parents, my family, my young children? You don't know. When I try to take care of people, I see myself. I see my family. Um, and I put everything that I have into it. I remember my first day, um, a patient his family FaceTimed him and they're like, oh, like we're sending you hugs. So I gave him a hug from the family, obviously, who wouldn't? And he ended up passing away a couple hours later. Just stepping in as a family member, not only as like a patient care tech is another big thing. You have those patients that like stick out to you and you sort of can relate them to people that you have in your life. So someone that's maybe your dad's age that like might not make it and he's not doing well or someone who's close to your mom's age. Had my family not been there to, to help with, with emotional and logistical support, I'm not sure that I'd be sitting here being interviewed by you guys.